Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha, and today we're going to do a video I probably should have done about a month ago, but that's okay. We still like to talk about these products, even if they're a whole month old, right? So I thought today I would talk a little bit about Gingham Love. Again, I know this has been out for a little bit, but I didn't get mine right away, and then I definitely wanted to, you know, use it a little bit to gather my thoughts. So I'm also going to talk about how it compares to the original gingham as well as gingham heart of gold so we have them in order i have my older version of gingham here and then this fall we got gingham heart of gold and then for february we were um, given gingham love so i'm going to talk about what i like what i don't like what compares and kind of give my ranking at the end so i hope that sounds interesting i will try to make this one quick I know no one asked me to do that, but I do like to kind of like give you some long videos like the collection ones, and then we move into some quicker little reviews. So let's start with Gingham Love because that's what we're here for. Here's Gingham Love. Packaging is super cute. It has the pattern like the original Gingham with um, red instead of blue. We have a red atomizer or atomizer. And, you know, like I said, it's super cute. Let's talk about the scent notes. This has notes of sugared red berry, blushing freesia, and rose meringue. This is so good. I really, really enjoy this scent. Um, they did offer it as like a free gift, so maybe I'll get to pick it up just for free. I think it was with any purchase. I think that was really smart. Um, this one is really sweet berries. The freesia um, is not super strong, which is why I wasn't sure I was going to like this, but it does not bother me. I like it a lot on my skin. And then the rosemary is really pretty too. So that is our first scent. And we're going to talk about strength and all of that. But let's compare it to the notes of the original gingham with a blue cap. I think that's really cute. This is the older packaging. The new packaging has got a whiter pattern like this. But I already have this, so I didn't really need that one. This is blue freesia, white peach, fresh clementine, violet clean musk. Violet and clean musk, I'm sorry. This is a lot going on, but this is one of the first, like, fresh scents that I really did fall in love with. It does have a lot of scent notes, but I think the most you pick up is the freesia. I feel like I hear a lot of people talk about the freesia in this. I don't really get any peach. I get a little bit of sweetness, like a little bit of the, the clementine or tangerine type of scent. And then there's just a cleanness to the scent. So the clean musk probably comes through the most. So I say freesia, then a little bit of little hint of fruit, but like a citrus fruit and then the clean musk. So this is by far more your clean scent. It could be a unisex scent in my opinion because it's just a very clean um, forward scent. So nothing too fruity, nothing too floral, but it's got a little bit of everything in here to give kind of probably all of those people interest in what is this scent. But this has been a staple. I think it's actually their signature scent. Like all the paper looks like this. So gingham is very much a part of the core line. I don't think they are ever without this scent. Um, I do like it. It's never been a favorite, if I'm being honest. I do. I just always wanted it because, again, this is their, like, gingham theme. So um, I've always kind of had something of gingham in my collection. Now let's talk about what came out in the fall. So we heard Gingham Heart of Gold is coming out, and I thought, ooh, how are they going to do another take on gingham? So this one to me notes of golden or crisp golden apple creamy vanilla bean warm sandalwood is a love i literally love this scent but it has nothing to do with gingham in my opinion it doesn't have anything clean in it it doesn't have anything fresh in it this really does smell like a little hint of apple so you get a little hint of the sweet fruit lots of vanilla and sandalwood so that's what this scent and this has the gold top. And again, I think they kind of knew they were changing the packaging when they started this one. Because if you can see, these two have the wider pattern. And this one has the cute little blue pattern. But again, I've had that one the longest. So this one really is just a really nice scent for fall. we got a lot of vanilla and amber, or not amber, sandalwood in here. It's sweet. It's pretty. It's, like I said, I love sandalwood. So this really wears well on my body. But nothing about this, when these two were the only two we had, I was like, why did they call it that? I think it was just because the name is super cute. Gingham Heart of Gold is really a cute name, um, but it doesn't have anything to do with the original gingham. So that is my comparison there. I didn't really do that in the fall, but I think in a ranking video or something, I did share that. 
However, ooh, I just love this one so much. In Gingham Love, you both you have the freesia and you have like a sweetness with the fruitiness. So this one, the apple does not shine through. So I would not call this a fruity scent. I would call this like a creamy sandalwood. Like those are the notes you're going to pick up the most in here, at least on my chemistry. But in this one, you both, you get a sweetness and you get that freshness. So these are far closer, but they are completely different scents. So um, when I smell both of them, I do pick up that clean note. But this one is really strong on the sweet berry. So this is more of your fruity, fresh scent. And this is just straight up like a fresh scent. So that is kind of how I would describe these scents. I hope I did okay with that. Now, they're all pretty strong. I would say that the entire gingham line, even this one that has nothing to do with the original gingham, wears really well. It lasts a, quite a long time on my skin because it has a lot of strength in their scent notes. So it's not something that you spray on and it's gone, in my opinion. I do typically spray these on my clothes and my body, so I can smell it on both, basically. Like I can smell it in my hair, because of course your hair gets in the way. I can smell it on my clothes later. I can smell it on my wrists. So I do give myself like a, you know, several spritzes. It's not just like two. I'm not, then I don't want you to think like, oh, it's strong with like two. I'm all over the place. I use this stuff like water but you know, whatever. But, um, this one is probably in third place for me just because I don't gravitate towards this scent. If I want a fresh scent, I go for beachfront blanket or Magnolia charm. So this one is more for comparison purposes or just the fact that, you know, it's a signature scent with Bath and Body Works. And then this is a, this is harder for me because this is something I could see myself wearing all spring, but this was something that I really enjoyed in the fall. So I think they were placed well in the seasons that they came out in and sometimes Bath and Body Works doesn't do that with their products sometimes their products come out in the season you're like eh I probably like that when it gets colder or eh I probably like that when it's like more like summery and you know right now I'm freezing and I'm covered in like ice and snow and I can't leave my home so I don't want that tropical scent that makes me reminds me that I'm not in a tropical place but these were placed really well in the beginning of spring because again this is something i can wear in the cold months but i can also see myself wearing it quite a bit when it warms up and it's just a really sweet fruity fragrance with that freesia and the rose just evens this out so i love this one probably number one for me but again i'm trying to make sure it's not just because it's new but i really like this right away this one i liked right away but i didn't love right away that's just the, maybe the difference as soon as i sprayed this i was like i love it I love it. I want to give it away. So I ordered an extra couple. This one, I was like, I like it. And then as I wore it more, it grew into a love. So this, I'm super glad to have both of these in my collection. If they did come from a place where gingham like originated, like did gingham walk so these could run? I'm not sure, but I am happy to have both. But these two are more in the same line. I wouldn't call them flangers. I think that's more for perfume, but like you kind of can get where this came from it, but they're totally different. Whereas this one is a, uh, you know, not even coming to the reunion, if I'm being honest, like not coming to that reunion. So I don't think Gingham Heart of Gold really belongs in the Gingham family, but maybe they just thought that name was really like sweet and we would buy it and they were right because I did buy this scent. So those are my thoughts. They're all pretty strong. They're all pretty scents and I really enjoy them quite a bit. So again a video that you guys have probably already seen but if you haven't had a chance put this on your list for sass it might still be around um i don't know if they're going to keep this in like on the walls but you know a free reward i think this is worth picking up but um this is my favorite definitely in the gingham line i'm very happy that they came out with this and now i'm really wanting that perfume but i did not purchase it and i don't need to purchase it but this is a beautiful scent and I bet in the perfume I would I would literally be able to go through a full bottle of perfume. I would wear it every day because I love the sweet berries with that rose meringue and the freeze freesia just makes it a little lightly floral and fresh, but nothing bad. Like nothing that um, makes me think I'd get choked out or I would choke out others. I think it would really come off more pretty light floral fruity on me. So I'll just enjoy the body spray for now, but that are those are my thoughts on this gingham family. Like I said, he can come to the reunion if he wants. I'm not kicking him out. I'm just saying I'm not really quite sure how he got into this family. That's my thoughts. So thank you guys so much. I will see you in a video probably tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.